Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen, also known as Tiny Gold Hanger on YouTube, Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Instagram. So if you are new to my channel, thank you for coming. If you are a regular subscriber, thank you for continuing to watch my channel. I do have an awesome haul for you guys today. But first I'm going to address the elephant in the room, which is my crazy 80s hair. I did get a spiral perm yesterday so that I could have body waves in my hair. I did that when I was a teenager. It's been a little over 20 years since I've had it. So I'm a little excited and a little nervous at the same time. I can't wash it for another two days. So I have to deal with it being all kinds of crazy and stuff for the next few days and try to just deal with it. It's causing me anxiety. <laughs> so anyway, I spent around 170, maybe $180 at Desra Industries. I only go to this specific one that I went to about once uh, every couple of months, I think, um, just because it's an hour away from me but they do have much lower prices than the one near me. And they also have a massive store. It's about twice the size. It's almost like a department store. And because they get such a huge volume of, and influx of donations, they do price things lower so that they can get things moving. My hair's driving me crazy, sorry. <laughs> and so it's a great place to go because not only do they get good stuff, it's at a lower price. So I do have a whole bunch of bags that I'm surrounded by, but you can't see because they're down here right now. Oh, and also I got this in the mail, finally. If you guys can see it, let me show you. It's a sweater, has these cute little pockets. And if you're not familiar with it, this is a painting called The Kiss. It's from Gustav Klimt. And Gustav Klimt is my all time favorite painter and I just love all of the stuff that he does. As you can see, it's almost like a patchwork sort of quilt. And if I was talented enough, I'd probably try and do something like this in a blanket, but that would probably drive me insane. So, <laughs> so if anybody ever happens to see like an actual handmade quilt with this design on it, feel free to let me know because I would love it. And this is probably the only thing you'll ever see me wear that has like this gold, orange, yellow kind of color. Um, and that's only because of the painting on it. Normally I wouldn't wear this color. So <laughs> anyway, let's get to the haul because I'm super excited to share this stuff with you. And I always do hauls on everything first before I start to kind of process them and get them going and listed and everything. So. I need to get this stuff listed. So the massive portion of these, of this haul is shoes. They always have lots of really good shoes. So that's the first place I go. So let's get going. The first pair is these gorgeous Sam Edelman pumps and they have this laser cutting with this blush pink and this rose gold heel and the little zipper in the back. They are just gorgeous and they were $6. Like I said, they have much lower prices there than they do at the other Desert Industries. Next is one that I have never heard of before, but I mainly got them because they are a wood wedge heel. And these are by Ecole or Ecole. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. It's kind of newer to the brand and they are super cute. Bottom is perfect. They are, they were $6 and I am not sure what size they are to be honest. So I think they're probably like a nine and a half, 10. But look at how cute those are, right? That makes me look kind of crazy with my leg up like that. Oh, it is a size nine. Look, nine. It's just a very roomy nine. 
So the strap is two pieces. Kind of awkward, but you know, whatever. So not sure what I'm gonna list that at. Um, I will start, um, I will put how much I'm listing these at down here below. All right, this next pair is BOC, which is Born Concepts. And I do find this very frequently and they do sell very well. These are just some great summer wedges, leather with these beautiful little floral print on the front, barely anywhere on the bottom. And they are $6. These are a size, they're a size I don't know. So let's try to see a comparison on my foot again. These are definitely a nine. Perfectly a nine. How cute are those? Well, that's gonna suck if a bunch of them are a size nine because I'm gonna wanna wear them. And I have too many shoes already. Next pair is another one that I haven't heard of before. A lot of these I didn't even look up because I just knew they were super cute and they were a great style for summer and they were really good condition. So these ones are by Mosquito. I don't know if that's kind of like a mosquito. Anyway, they have like nowhere to them. They only cost $4. There's the little, the little tag right there. And it's kind of a animal print calf hair. And I am not sure they are size eight. Y'all, they, they like completely conform to my foot. If you can see that, the way that that moves right there in the arch. Ooh, this may be my, my new favorite shoe brand. I may have to try these out. They're way too cute. I'm in trouble. Next is another BOC Born Concept. Same, same exact shoe. I think these are a different size. Oh, these are a nine. The last ones were an eight. So here's an eight. Here's a nine. So I have two different sizes and those ones were also $6. Next I have some more awesome sandals. These are by Naughty Monkey and they're this really cute Birkenstock sort of sandal, really squishy bottoms or sole. And it's like a cow calf hair like white cream kind of look with this like gold splotch all over it. That's the only way I can describe it. Anyway, these were $5. They, I don't even know if they've been worn hardly at all. These are a size seven and a half. Next pair is a brand that I love picking up. They don't sell super amazing, but I do love their styles. And this is by Seychelles. And these are like a dark brown suede wedge heel. And these were $5. They only have like maybe the tiniest bit of heel drag right here and that's about it. It does look like, I just realized it's kind of separating a little. So I may have to um, use some glue and try to repair that a bit. And it's got this really cool like twisted gathering right here. Next is a pair of Dana Buckman. As you can see right there, they do have a tiny bit of wear on them. And they're these great silver kind of cork wedge sandals. These were $5. Next is more of the Seychelles. These have this lime green inside. 
and this great twisted leather sandal on the front. And it doesn't look like they were hardly even worn. They just have a tiny bit of wear on the bottom. And these were $6. And then I have some other ones that are similar to those. These are some cork wedges. These are by Aldo. And they're in a gold color. Very beautiful. And these are a size 37, which is a US 7. And they were six dollars also. I have some Franco Sardo and these have a zipper on the back and they are a wedge heel with this really neat multicolored front twisted straps. They are a size seven and these were five dollars. And then we have and I, I re looked this one up while I was in the store but I don't remember if they are a higher seller or not. But these were really cute. They're by Isola. You can see that. And they do have a zipper back, a very, it's like a uh, kitten wedge. And then this is kind of like a black suede with these little gold studs on it. Very cute. And I figured they were a good pickup just from the style and then the bottom is a little higher quality. These are a size six and a half and they cost me $6. Next pair is a Cole Haan. As you can see, these are a size six and they're just this square toe, little slip on sandal. Just a tiny bit of wear on the bottom. And these cost $6 also. And these next ones I thought were super cute. Uh, looks like they are a size seven and a half. These are Clark's Artisan. And I thought these were just a great basic brown leather woven sandal with this little block heel. These cost $5. And then we have some more great sandals. These are by Donald J. Pliner which is kind of a hit and miss. Well, most of the time when I find Donald J. Pliner, it's ones that are a little dated. However, I thought this was a new enough style that I should be able to get away with it and that, you know, they barely have any wear on them. They're a size seven and a half, which isn't too bad of a size, and they were $5. I thought these were a great summer basic. This next ones, these next ones, I picked up because they were new tags. I don't pick up bobs very often, but these did still have the tags on them and they are a size 11 wide, which is a very unusual size. And so I figured that would give me kind of a leg up on that because that's a hard size to find. And they are just absolutely perfect condition and they cost me $5. Next, I have another pair of Cole Hans, as you can see from in there. And these are actually Cole Haan Nike Air. I'm not quite sure what that means, but you know, if it has Nike and Cole Haan in it, usually when there's a mixture of two different brands, that gives you a better chance of having a higher price. So these are just like this silver and bronze toe kind of kitten wedge and they only cost me six bucks. So I figured that was a good bargain. Next, I have some more sandals and these are some more Born Concept, BOC. Some more of the flower ones, but these ones are a little bit different, but similar kind of design with a little block heel on them. These were $5 and they are a size seven. Yes, still more shoes. <laughs> Next, I have some more Clarks. And these are the Clarks, what are they called? Wearable Bendables, Clarks Bendables. So they are a comfort style, Mary Jane, really cute, full leather, bottoms perfect condition, and they cost $6. And they are a size eight and a half. So these would be a great comfort shoe. I think that's it as far as the shoes go. 
Um, this next one I'm including in this because I had to return something to Deseret Industries. And this is the item that I got. This was, however, from a different Deseret industry. Um, I returned some jeans that ended up having a loop that was bad. And so I went ahead and got this dress. I was having a hard time finding anything else. It does have some staining on it, but I'm hoping that if I soak it in OxyClean, I should be able to get it out. It is by Ishakti, and it was $6. And it is a maxi length dress. So very, very flattering style. And it is a size medium or a size 10. You can see it's a very full skirt, but it does have some staining in the bottom. Um, down here so I'm gonna see if I'm able to get that out I hope now to the clothing all right so this next one is by halogen it's a size 6 I do have a lot of luck with the shoes and the dresses at this particular Deseret Industries I grabbed this one because it's a beautiful floral and it's a great length it has this elastic sort of band for the waist very pretty for the spring. This next one still has the tags on it. It is by Catherine Malandrino and it's a stretchy knit kind of dress. It retailed for $158. This one cost me six and it's a polka dot knit dress. So let's see how much that ends up going for. I was looking for a lot of florals and stuff like that this time because of spring. So I went through the dresses and the skirts and grabbed stuff like that on purpose because of the time of year. This next one is Elaine Bryant. Sorry, I'm getting a little hoarse. My throat's super dry. And it cost me $4. And it's this beautiful, vibrant floral skirt. Wow little bit more. Oh, I lied. There's more shoes. They were hiding. All right. So we have another pair of Kohans and these also say Nike Air on the bottom right here. And these are just a great basic peep toe black pump and they cost $6 also. Like I said, they have great pricing at this DI. It's Deseret Industries, but if you hear, hear people say DI, that's what that means. And then I did grab another pair of bobs. I don't know why I grabbed these ones. $6 is a lot for bobs that aren't new with tags, but these just seem like a good idea at the time, I guess. They're just a basic taupe kind, and they have the nice squishy memory foam on the inside. They are a size 10. I think maybe that's why I grabbed them because larger sizes are harder to find. And so I went ahead and grabbed them because of that. Next item, even though it's spring now, I grabbed this one anyway. And I just realized it's new with tag. So it's a good thing. So it's Victoria's Secret Pink. Has the tag on it. I'm assuming it was a gift because it doesn't have the price on the bottom. It did cost me $6. And it's one of those Teddy sweaters. It's a pullover with a kangaroo pocket. It's very soft. Next item is one that I don't find super often, but when I do, it's usually at this DI. This is by Bowden. It's a dress. This one cost me $8, but um, certain prints and stuff like that for Bowden seem to do really well. So this one does have a zipper at the back. So I just thought this was a great structured piece. It's almost, it's hard to tell, but it's almost kind of like corduroy. It does have lining on the inside and it does have this kind of gathering right here. It even has pockets. I think this would be a beautiful piece. 
And honestly, if it was my size, I'd probably keep it just so I could wear it to church because it's just so stinking cute. All right, we've got two more items. Next one I picked up is by Sheragano. And it's a size four, it cost me $8. And it's just this very beautiful white cap sleeve dress. And it does have pockets in it. it. Has this kind of ruffle detail down the front. I thought that would be perfect for maybe like mother of the bride or wedding sort of thing. And the very last item I picked up, and I'm not sure if I should have picked this one up or not. It is Vince Camuto and it's a size 12. It's new with tag and it retails for $118. But when I looked it up after I got home, it seems like the Vince Camuto dresses don't seem to resell for as much as you would think. And uh, this one I paid up for, I paid $15 for it. But it is a very beautiful sleeveless tunic kind of dress. And the colors are just gorgeous and uh, looks like it does have a TJ Maxx tag which I'll probably just take off because that doesn't have any bearing on anything so anyway it's I just thought it was a very beautiful piece and so hopefully I'll be able to at least get enough to get back my money on that piece anyway Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching this video. If you like watching haul videos, do me a favor and hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel because it really, really helps me out, helps to keep me going and to build my channel so that I can provide more of these videos for you guys and kind of share my reselling journey. I will talk to y'all in my next video. Hope you're having a great day. Love you guys. Bye.